Rita lights up a room every time she walks in. She's gorgeous, kind and caring. And I can honestly say the last six years have been brilliant. Full of good times, laughs and I'm a very lucky man. Treasure the love you have for each other. It's precious and it's beautiful and it's as fragile as the beautiful flowers on the altar. So nourish it. Don't ever take your love for each other for granted. And how do you nourish it? Well, I think the food is this. Faithfulness to each other in word and in deed. Forgive one another. Never let the sun go down in your anger. Sort it out before you sleep. Gentleness. Recognise that you come from two different families. 
with their own way of looking at things and doing things and of viewing life. Minutes ago, you lit the two candles here on either side of your marriage candle, representing your individuality and your uniqueness. You don't submerge all of that when you get married. You bring the richness of your own personality and your own unique individuality into the marriage. What about humour? Well, I think you have a great sense of humour from what I know of you, and that's important too, to be able to laugh and enjoy life together. Communication. It's a key issue in all relationships, but particularly in marriage. So all I'd say to you is spend time together and talk about the things that really matter to you. And don't let work, because sometimes it can happen, or anything else, rob you of couple time. Remember that your marriage and your home will be the first school of love and of faith that your children, please God, will attend. So may it be the best for you and for them. Rita, wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love. Pat, wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now can I introduce Mr. and Mrs. Jordan. Rita, she's a focused little woman, she's determined, and usually whatever she puts her mind to, she achieves. And that was the way it was when she snared poor Pat. I first met Brida at a wedding this weekend six years ago. The first time I seen and took notice of Brida was at the mass service that day. When she cut me off in the queue to receive communion, she didn't let me out of my seat. I got over that anyway, and I met her later on that night, and we got talking, and actually discovered she, she was sound enough. Lo and behold, his head down, looking into his lovely pint of Guinness, he looked up, and here's this apparition standing beside him. And she said, you know, I think your shoes under our bed will be grand. And inside a half an hour, he had met all his in-laws. We now look forward to moving into our new home back in Fenon in the next few weeks when it's completed. It took poor Brida a while to come around to the idea of living in the countryside and getting away from the bright lights, big city life of Ballandine. But now, but now she loves the idea of Weltons and Eilskins. We no bother to her. Pat's a genuinely sound, hard-working man. He's a credit to his family and to his friends, and we couldn't be happier for you today. We're delighted that you've chosen to share your lives with each other 
and we wish you a long and happy life together in your new home and all the best for the future. As a couple, you're just fantastic and your future has to be good, that your foundations are good and none of you leave anything to be desired, you're just top class both of you.